Okay, so we've looked at the basics of Publisher in terms of images and text boxes and changing the styles. Uh, we're just going to have a look at a few little extra features that might make um, your poster look really, really good. Okay, so the three things we're going to look at, we're going to have a quick look at um, background colours. Then we're going to look at word art, which I don't particularly love, but it's you can have some interesting styles there. And then we're going to uh, have a look at adding in shapes. So the first one is the background. So the background, if you go to page design, and then you go right to the end, it says background. Now there's a set of backgrounds here, and if you see me kind of hovering over, I'm, I'm changing them. You've got a solid and a gradient. But that's not the only selections of backgrounds. That If you just go down to the bottom, there's one that says more backgrounds. So I'm going to click on that, and I have this option. So I can do a gradient, I can do a texture, okay, I can do a pattern, or any other sort. Okay, probably the most common will be um, your gradient fill. So quite often two colours is nice, and you can choose which way you want it, horizontal, vertical, diagonal, that sort of style. So I might have it from corner, from that corner. Uh, I'll pick colour one. Let's go from green into yellow. Okay, and you can see that. So I select colour one, I click OK, and now I've got... Uh, if we zoom out a bit. Now I've got my background on there. Okay, and that just makes it look a little bit, a bit nicer. Okay, so again, remember it's background under pages and background and more backgrounds. Okay, I can choose any of these patterns and styles as well. So that's the first thing that might might help. Another thing is um, word art. Now I'm not a massive fan of word art, but some of the newer ones are a bit nicer. So if we go to home. Um, sorry, not home, go to insert. There's one button here, it's called word art. So I'm going to click on word art, and I've got all these stars. I've also got transformations, so transformations kind of wiggle it a bit. So if I was to pick a purple one, it says enter your text here, so I'm going to write the play. I've now got my word art there. You can see it's got a specific style on it with a uh, shadow, but on the word art tools section, you can change the style that you want from there. You can choose the sort of transformation that you want, if you want it to, to wiggle up and down. Uh, if you want to keep the same style, you can change the shape of it. Okay, so that one you can add, add or remove shadow effects. Uh, change the outline, if you want an outline to it. Um, the major thing to say is if you want to edit it, the text, you have to double click on it. Um, Sorry, don't, apologies, don't double click on it, because if you double click on it, nothing happens. You have to go to Format Under Word Art Tools when you select it and click Edit Text. That's how you change it. Okay, it's not like a text box that you kind of click into. You have to click Format, Edit Text. So that's Word Art. And finally, there's Shapes. So under the Home uh, section, you have Shapes, and there's loads of different shapes here. I particularly like the Callouts. Okay, so you might get something like a thought bubble, you click on it and you just drag it to the size you want it. Um, you can format it like a normal picture, okay, to change the colours and the styles. You can add your shadow effects, <clears throat> whatever else that you want to have onto it. Um, you can also go to format on the text box and actually write inside the shape. Okay, this bit is really nice as well. This section here says let you choose where you want the text to appear. So if I want the text not to be in the top right, I want it to be in the centre, and you click that one in the middle and it will go into the centre. And like before, I highlight it and I've got my text styles uh, that I can choose. I can change my size, bold it if I really want to, colours, all those sorts of things. So those are three other uh, quick sort of tools that might make your poster and your publisher documents look a bit better. So we've got uh, the page design background, and again more backgrounds. We have got under insert, we've got word art, and it's under the home menu or insert, it doesn't matter which one, you've got some different shapes that you can put in. And those things kind of make your poster maybe look a little bit more exciting. So as you're making your J1 Play poster, have a go at using some extra features.